Hey, it's Corey Pierce Ranger, and welcome back to the FIFA 14 demo. Or, or I left off yesterday. Um, Borussia Dortmund took an early control of my uh, FIFA 4 of my specially made FIFA 14 demo league. Um, first. But considering there are nine games to go, Dortmund's early good start means absolutely nothing. Anyway, let's go on to the second set of games. Our first game today is PSG versus Milan. Hmm. I would say this would have been a good game a few years ago if Milan still had the good players that they he lost to. Who, um, <clears throat> PSG. <laughs> uh, but, uh, with all the talent Milan have lost, this kind of looks like a one side. It'll be one side. It looks like it should be. Milan were dominated by Man C, and Man C only got one goal. So I'm expecting PSG to maybe even get. The most, so far, the most has been three. That was scored by Dortmund in the first match yesterday. So, Milan will be hoping the first match is not the high-scoring match of, the, of this particular um, of this particular uh, league. league. So, uh, enjoy the first match and yeah, just enjoy it. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of this friendly. Today it's Paris Saint Germain against AC Milan. So without further ado, we're heading for the new camp. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello everybody, I'm Martin Tyler. This is the new camp. Welcome to you all. Really great interest in this game between these two teams. Well, you should expect a classic. I mean, once or twice it doesn't live up to the billing. I think it will this time. It's a wonderful city, Milan, isn't it, for football, Alan? And the club known as Milan because of its English origin. It's not Milan in the name of the city. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's half of it, isn't it? They're the red and black. Yeah, and, uh, one of those teams that has a, a special place in European football, I think back to the days of Pullet and Van Basten and Brazen. And Rigo Saki was their manager and what a formidable unit they were back then. Well, Luca has had so many great games, had great teams playing here recently, Alan, has there? I know many other great Barcelona sides down the years, but recent Barcelona, well, it's a worthy setting for a wonderful team. Well, the crowd have been spoiled, haven't they, with what they've been uh, treated to over the last few years, but it is one of these special stadiums, without question. Yeah, I'm not That's 
good work to keep the ball under the challenge. It's with Bonaire. Towards El Sharawi. Attacking play from Milan. In quick work. That's where the kick was called. Constant. On the line, are always confident, but they know they have to be at their best. He's empty, it's with a chance. Nice ball here. Goalkeeper came off his line, really challenging the attacker to do that, but he's done it. He's done it. in the way the crowd has reacted but they have seen the scoring being opened and it's really set up for the second half I gotta say that's a surprise 1-0 to Milan to second thanks second to Mr. Why I was mean Balotay very it's surprising Well, he's got support here. He's avoided that sliding challenge. Kevin Constant. Antonio Machuina. Keep it low going. And the shot's on. Well, he's cleared it away well. It's weird. To Young. Gets his foot in there. 
Here with changes from the bench. And it's a header. Stopping the pass getting through with good piece of anticipation. Baratti. He was on, but when they look at the replays after this match, they realise the official made a good call there. This is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead, and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. <laughs> a timely challenge. So little between these two teams. It's been an absolute thriller. These last few minutes should be along the same lines. Wow, Milan defeat PSG. What a bad start from PSG. A PSG shitting in them? A PSG shit in FIFA 14? What does this mean? Milan were dominated by Man City and yet they beat PSG. Milan are 0 for 2. I mean, PSG are 0 for 2. Milan are the fourth team on the three points. Fortunately, they're st still fourth. So, I mean, granted, it's a win, but. I mean, PSG had more shots, but Milan had more possession. And they had the one shot on target that counted Mr. Balotelli's chip shot into the goal on 24 minutes. So Balotelli puts Milan on three points. What does this mean for PSG? Hey PSG fans watching this must be wondering like, hey what the hell's going on here? You know why I got time for this? The next game is New York Red Bulls versus Man City. I don't know why it's putting Man City in their away jersey. It's not needed. Um, here we go. Second game. I still have to take in that that first game. Still very surprised. Very, very surprised. <laughs> um yeah, second game. Red Bulls versus Man City. Enjoy it. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of this friendly. 
Today it's New York against Manchester City. So without further ado, we're heading for the Newcastle. Your commentary team, Mark Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, Alan Smith. Hi there to everybody from both of us. And welcome to this big match today. These guys, the payment to players, it's quite a hot topic for fans who think perhaps that they're getting a bit too much. But maybe for those of us closer to professional football, it's how they're giving it. And a lot of it up front. Whereas, I guess when you started the incentive, I remember you telling about your first contract, you were in the first team, you got almost treble your money. I think that's the one less uh, encouraging aspect of money coming into the game, and that young players get too much too soon. And as I say, it can take away a little bit of the edge from them. I'd like to see it more performance based. Scott McBeady, that's the man with the whistle. Yeah, yeah, Toure. This is cliche, really taking the attack to the opposition. That's really well done. Good defending. Brilliant opening! He's panicked there a bit, just managed to get it away. Back behind Espindola. One thing that went against Roberto Mancini, I think, even though they had difficult groups in the two years of the Champions League, Manchester City really didn't compete in a way that the club wanted at uh, Europe's elite level. No, they did. I mean, the first year you could maybe say that like, it's the uh, first exposure to the Champions League, as good players as they had, but the second year it didn't get any better, and uh, that was a surprising thing from my point of view. Support. Brilliant pass there. Takes the shot off. Well, for these footballs, you've got to hit the ground in the sweet spot, and he certainly didn't that time. No, he didn't. He bottled on towards the goalkeeper. It was a poor effort. Not that he's stuck to this thing. One more minute of added time. Comes the challenge. Well, the underdog has 
Okay, what the hell is going on? Okay, what the hell is going on? Seriously. First, it was Milan defeating PSG. Now, Red Bulls are leaning against Manchester City. I know it's a game, but come on. What? The? That makes no sense. And if, if you're a PSG fan, I, I'd be encouraging you to cheer Man City on like nobody's business. Because if City lose, Red Bulls will pass PSG out and PSG will be bottom of the table. Bottom. PSG. Think about that. Think about that. Start now of the second half. That's a real touch up for the ball. Got a great understanding this team. Just look at the passing. Thierry Henry. He can cross it now. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Nasri. Sergio Aguero. Quickly back to his feet. Thierry Henry. He'll get it back here. He can run. Henry. Great passage of passing play there. The defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Goes in. Need to try and get the ball back now. Yeah, That's good support as they build this attack. Here's a chance to attack. Challenges for the ball. That's right. Well, this is the situation that Manchester City face now. Time against them. And the scoreline against them too. Oh, it goes across. He's got his fist to that. Very good performance by a side that was given no chance, but it can still all go out the window in these last few minutes. I think uh, we all spoke about them as underdogs, and maybe they came out with a point to prove. I've certainly done that so far. Here's Thierry Henry. Here. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. This really makes me question PSG. <laughs> it 
it really, really makes me question PSG. Then again, maybe, uh, maybe I'm counting out PSG too early. It's only been two games. But they still shouldn't be bottom. I mean, come on. A good team like PSG should not be bottom of anything. Even if it is a game. And they still shouldn't be bottom. Anyway, last game is Barcelona and Borussia Dortmund. This will, um... Or this game will uh, see themselves top of the group by the end of play. But if it's a draw, Dortmund will finish top because of goal difference. So Barca have to win. That's the only way they can finish top. At the end of day two. Enjoy the match. Today is Borussia Dortmund against Barcelona. So without further ado, we're heading for the new camp. The commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. This is the new camp. But what about this game today? There's no points or progress at stake, but it's uh, a chance to try one or two things out. Yeah, I think so. The managers will enjoy maybe trying a, a variety of tactics and uh, different from the ones that will normally be playing competitive football. It will be interesting. You've got to get those so right. Fraction of a second out and it's a penalty. Sorry about that, I, I didn't even realize that I uh, accidentally didn't make it computer versus computer. Whoops. My bad. I, play, I was playing his tournament, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Champions League, that didn't quite work out for them when Messi was missing um, pretty much for both legs of the semi final. Yeah, they had some flat games, just like as I've seen them in recent times when Messi. What a chance here! And a cross cut out by the defender. Top save! Back to Barcelona and Matos, the other is more of a club. We were talking, are they more than Messi? Who of course, uh, in the semi final of the Champions League, beat 7 0 by uh, Bayern Munich on Aggregate. He did take part, though not fully fit, in the first leg and sat out the second. And obviously, the results spoke volumes. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they're not going to be quite the same team if he's not firing on all cylinders. But I think maybe his injury caught the club when they were a little low at as well, when 
They were the big players, weren't quite to form in the likes of Xavi and Iniesta, weren't on not top form, so the two contributing towards them, getting thrashed in that semi. Daniel Alves. goes with the tap and Jordi Alba. Nice back here but now Messi. Lewandowski. He's in here. Big save the defending team by that offside flag. I don't think he was on, but when they look at the replays after this match, they realise the official made a good call there. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. And he can keep the attack going on the right side. He can have it back. Iniesta. Attacking well here. He's taken on his man and beaten it. Well, the rest of play on that's a crossing opportunity here. On the referee's mind, there was an advantage, but not enough of one, so it's going to be the free kick. I wonder what the planning is. That's good referee to get the ball back the required distance. Oh, he's going to shoot now. Or got in the way, great block. <laughs> Lachikovsky. Kumovs. Kumovs. Gignoa. Subotic. Peace check. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. That's a word I hate using, mediocre. But that really hasn't been the last one. Uh, most definitely, when you look at some of the, the good players, the better players out there, they just haven't been able to produce their best form. Start of the second half here, and the spectators just hoping for some more goal mount action on the short supply in the first half. Yes, and then again, nothing to shout about really, you kind of think it's going to improve. Sergio Busquets. Robert Lewandowski. The opposition back off, they could be in trouble. And the ball gets to here. He's got space! Here he is with the chance. And the defender has blocked the cross, and he's done it well. Hard to stay in possession. 
possession. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. That is time for change, time for change for both teams as it seems. Oh, I don't think I've read Cheese Gold Barca! No! Time is on well, just when it seems to be not really ticking. Got in strongly. Barcelona. <laughs> hey, beat Dortmund with a 90th minute cheese goal. No, that's not right. Oh, so even. And when Fabregas comes on, he. Puts the ball into the back of the net. That, that was very, very interesting. Wow. So that leaves Barcelona on top going at the end of day two. Nos only three goals today and the day ends with Barcelona on top like comment and subscribe poor Dortmund